Hello, this is Nick with Clean PC, and today we're going to be customizing Linux Mint 22XFCE. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open a terminal session here, and I'm simply going to type NeoFetch and hit return. And when I do that, we can see some details about our system. So we can see we're running Linux Mint 22. The kernel we're running is 6.8.0-49. We can see the VM that we have here has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Desktop environment is XFCE 4.18. The current window manager theme is Mint Y Aqua. And we can see that we've got two CPUs and four gigs of RAM to work with. So um, what I've done is I've already gone and, and downloaded a whole bunch of themes that I'm going to install. Uh, no worries though, I'm going to place the link to those themes in the info for the video so you can copy and paste those there if you'd like but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go into file manager here and then I'm gonna go into pictures and you can see I've got two folders so I've got an icons folder and a wallpaper folder um, not really gonna go into the wallpapers all too much but I will show you the icons because that's what we're gonna be working with so what we need to do now is we need to change directory so in the terminal we're gonna say CD for change directory and then we need to go to pictures I can hit tab to autocomplete show you an LS and there's our two folders so we're gonna go into icons Oops. and then in here we're just gonna verify we see the same five folders that we see in the file manager to our left so now we need to go into each one of these like this and again I'll do an LS dash L and we can see all the files in here now one of the great things about github Developers are awesome. Not only do we have these themes, but they actually provide an install file for you, which makes the installation of the themes a breeze. So what do we need to do? We need to type sudo period slash install dot sh. Hit return. It'll prompt us for our password. Go ahead and put that in. And now you're going to see that it is installing nice and fast. So after we install that first one, we'll do cd dot dot to back out. And then we'll go to the next directory, hit tab to autocomplete, and then use the up arrow. And we're going to run that install.sh. We'll watch this quickly install. And then it's just rinse and repeat. Use the up arrow. Save some keystrokes. Tab to autocomplete here. Watch these install, and again, we're going to go ahead and go and oops, okay, and then we're going to back out one more time, and we only have one more to go into. And this should finish here shortly. And now what we've done, once this completes, is install five different themes that we can change here on Linux Mint. So I'm going to change directory a couple more times. Okay, and go back there. And ultimately, we don't need to be in the shell anymore, so I'm just going to say exit. I'm also going to close this out. We're going to hit start. And we're going to type appearance. We're going to go ahead and customize our appearance. So we can see right here if we scroll, as we saw in NeoFetch, we're using this Mint Y Aqua theme right here. So what can we do? We can go to icons, and this is where we just did our install, right? So we've got a whole bunch. And let me go ahead and pull File Manager back up real quick. Let's put this here on the left. And under pictures and icons, just a reminder of the themes that we have here. So as we look through, we can see we've got quite a few options. So here's the Fluent theme. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you can see in real time it changes. As soon as we click on it, you can see the icons down here change, right? So now you're starting to get an idea of how this is going to look. We'll do the next one. Again, dark. Kind of nice, goes with the dark theme that we have. We can see light, doesn't really fit. So Fluent Dark 
might be a nice fit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to look at that Mojave theme. This looks very Mac OS-ish. The dark kind of looks nice. Let's uh, go to the start menu and here you can see the different icons, right? And so as you change these themes, it's changing the icons in all the places. Down here, on the taskbar, in the menu, pretty cool. Um, and then we can see the light one here. Again, this is more of a dark theme that we have, so probably wouldn't go with a lighter theme, but we're going to just scroll down and look at some of the other options that we have. Kind of like this papyrus theme. Pretty cool here, even though that's not one we installed, that's one that comes with this. And so for the other themes, we got to go to style and we'll see now. So here's White Sur. And as, as you can see, this changes everything once we click on it. Here's another light one. Here's Dark Solid. Ooh, I really like this. And again, here, this is just dark. We can look at the Vimix theme. And pretty awesome that we just see this change real time. You know, with that, so again, you can see the different options that you have. And there's all these default themes, too. So you don't necessarily need to go out and download anything. You can certainly cycle through all of these and kind of pick what you like. Um, and that's one of the great things about Linux. The uh, developers for Linux Mint have put a lot of great stuff in here. Um, and here's this Suru theme. Pretty cool, actually. I do kind of like this. Let's see what the menu looks like. Yeah, pretty slick, for sure. But I think for all intents and purposes, personally, I like this Fluent Dark. Let's just take a look. And we can see inside what the icons look like on the menu. Kind of nice, right? Definitely goes with the dark theme that we have in Linux Mint 22 XFCE here. But I don't know if I'm going to stay on that. So we're going to go back to this and just take a look. Again, very Mac OS. So not really sure if that's what I like or not. And remember, we had the, um, let's see if we can find it. Yeah. This was our original theme, Mint Y Aqua, right? So we can change that back. And now with that original theme, we can go ahead and see what this looks like here. Kind of nice. Again, lots of different options. But I really like this White Sur dark theme. Icons really pop off the page. Super nice. I think that's the one I'm going to keep on here for all intents and purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to close this out here too. And we can take a look at the desktop settings. And in here, if we click the folder, we'll go ahead and say other. Now, the default is user share backgrounds, um, and it defaults to Linux Mint. So if we say open here, these are the default wallpapers that come. Um, we also have this folder for Wilma. Uh, I'm a bigger fan of the wallpapers in here and this particular one. So you can see it's the first wallpaper we have selected. But overall, I really like this theme. I think the look and the feel of this is great. And again, that's one of the beautiful things about Linux in general is that you can customize it to your liking. So now we've got Linux Mint 22 XFCE customized. And again, there's plenty of different icons and themes that you can download and install. We just went over a very high level how to do it. And again, I'll put the links for the themes that I showed you in the info. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and like and subscribe. And we will see you again soon.